Marcus Sasser just erupted in Summer League. He dropped 40 points on the Indiana Pacers' head in the Pistons' 100-85 to victory. The Detroit Pistons are now 4-1 in Summer League. They finish off Summer League with a 4-1 record. Really good record, and what a game by Marcus Sasser. Are you kidding me, Marcus? He went off, man. 5-9 for nine from 3-point land, 16-25 for 25 from the field, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, and like I said, 40 points. He has the Summer League record for this year. Nobody has scored 40 points. He holds that record. What a game by Marcus. He erupted, man. He said in his interview after the game that he struggled the first four games. And this game, he really got to, you know, get in his bag. Asar Thompson did not play in this game. So that helped out Marcus a lot. He just had way more ball handling duties. He was the main ball handler, the main guard for our offense. And really the key contributor, obviously. The next highest scorer on our team was Stanley and Moody with 13 points. And Xavier Simpson, he chipped in 10 points. Other than that, it was pretty much the Marcus Sasser show. He went off. He went crazy. He carried the team to a victory. Both teams were not too good from three-point. Pistons shot 29%. Pacers shot about 25%. Pacers really struggled in this game to do anything offensively. And the Pistons took advantage of that. We were playing good defense, locking them down. Really good game by all the younger guys on defense. Buddy Bayheim, he came back down to earth. He went one for six from three-point range. Not the best game for Buddy. He messed up his shooting percentage big time with this one. But Marcus Sasser really did it all in this game. From top to bottom, he was shooting threes, passing, driving aggressively, drawing fouls, great finishing around the rim. He's making steals, running in transition. He was on a completely different level. Nobody in this game was even close to his talent or what he was doing. He was going off. He was carrying the Pistons and really just embarrassing the Indiana Pacers. Pistons, they started to struggle early on offense, and Sasser kind of just picked him up. They started going off, led by Marcus Sasser. And like I said, he struggled all summer league, Sasser did. And this game, he just erupted. Everything finally came out for Marcus Sasser. Everything we knew we saw in Marcus Sasser, he showed us today. He was deep in his bag, very deep in his bag. He was taking step-back threes like he's James Harden. He just did it all today, and he showed us his full, complete arsenal, everything he has. He was unbelievable. Marcus Sasser was unbelievable. This is the player we knew we were getting with Marcus Sasser, and we have a really big long jam at point guard, and I'm not sure where Sasser fits into that, but if he keeps playing like this and if this can translate to the NBA level, He's going to be getting a lot of playing time for us next season. I'm very excited to have a fresh face in the point guard room. A guy like Marcus Sasser, four years in college at Houston. He's got a lot of experience, and he's a really good shooter. We've seen that today, five for nine from three. We're really hoping that he can translate this to the NBA level because he will be a huge contributor to our team if he can. We need his shooting. We need his defense. And we need his intelligence. We really need his basketball intelligence. It'll help the team out a lot. Big reason why he was able to do this today is because Asar was out of the game. He was the best player on the floor by far. And he showed that. 40 points. New summer league record for this year. What a game by Sasser. Just really all around. He, Like I said, he did it all. And he led us to a win. So... Great win by the Pistons. They beat the Indiana Pacers 100-85. to And on the Pacers' side, their highest scorer was Isaiah Wong. He had 24 points. He was pretty tough to stop. 5 for 7 from 3. He was knocked down shooting. But other than Wong, the entire team got locked down defensively. Pistons were playing great defense in this game. Just had him on clamps pretty much the whole game. So, good to see the good defense from the Pistons. And then... Like I said, we didn't have the best offense as a team with only 29% three-point shooting, but Marcus Sasser, he stole the show. He took over, he went off, and he carried us to that victory. He was not going to lose this game. 
And the Pacers, they really just weren't even close. Nobody could check him. Didn't matter if he was driving, step back three. He was doing it all. And one thing about Marcus Sasser that I want to really hone in on is he had really, really good finishing around the rim. There was times where the help defense would come and he would just somehow get it over him. And his floater, he even had a little floater he was showing us. So we really got to see everything he has to offer. And I think it's going to be very beneficial for the Pistons in the future. Having a guy like Marcus Sasser on your team, he helps out everyone. He's a connector. He's really good on defense. And he's he knows his role. He's not trying to be a superstar. He's just trying to win. And that's we need more of those guys. We need more just straight up winners. And Marcus Sasser, from what he's shown me so far, he's a winner. Whether he's doing bad in a game, like a couple of the other games, or whether he's doing good, his focus is always on winning. And that's become very clear for me. Even the games he struggled in in the past in the summer league, he was still contributing on defense, getting assists, and contributing other ways, even though he was struggling on offense. And then you got a game like this where he's just in his zone and he just takes over and leads us to a win. So Marcus Sasser is a winning player, and that's just bottom line. What did you guys think of this summer league game? Pistons finished the summer league 4-1. and one. What do you guys think of the summer league as a whole? Who do you guys think are the risers and maybe the fallers of the Pistons in the Summer League? And where do you guys think Marcus Sasser fits in with our team? Should he be with that first unit coming off the bench? Or does he still need to grow a little bit and get used to the NBA? You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Also, do you guys see any sleepers from Summer League making our team? Stanley Amude, I really liked the effort that he put in. Plays really good, you know, hard defense. Plays with a, a good motor. Tosan Awoma. He played solid, but it wasn't too impressive for me personally. He only had six points in this game. Jared Roden, I think he has a good bag. He has some good skills. I just don't know if he's going to be able to make the team or not. You guys let me know. And Malcolm Cazalone, he didn't play in this game. It was a coach's decision. Not really sure what happened with that. He showed he was pretty solid in the past game, so I, I wasn't too sure why he didn't play, but... Cazalone's another good one. Sykes, Bayheim, all these guys. Xavier Simpson. Do you guys think any of those guys should make the team after watching Summer League? Let me know in the comments, guys. Without further ado, that's going to do it for the video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm chasing a thousand subscribers, so I appreciate it, guys. I'm Troy. This is Detroit Fan TV, and I'm out. Peace.